Take two <laughs> of the first video. <laughs> okay, what are we doing today? Today we are driving to Capitalist Distillery in the Cotswold. We featured Barney in edition two of We Are Makers. And we are going to follow up today with a podcast, aren't we? Well, indeed. So, a little bit of a catch up with Barney, see what is, what's happened for him since we are makers, but also just a bit of a deeper dive into into his story. You know, we can't capture everything in the, the very few pages we've got. So, a little bit of a deeper dive, talk about whatever he wants to talk about. And this is day one of how many day trip, Kate? What have we got? We've got Capra's Distillery today. Yeah. Zoe Wilson Stone Carbon tomorrow. Then jump on the Eurotunnel tomorrow night to go and see Maximus yep. in Dihar in Belgium. Then we are going to see Winnie Clement. Winnie Clement in Omen. Yep. No, again. Ghent, sorry, Winnie Clell, Winnie and Ghent, who is a float maker, and then we are going to see our free range of canoes, and then a 19th belt um, in the Netherlands before heading back on Wednesday next week. So it should be a fun-filled five days. Let's hope there's no complications. That should be good. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've organised our way through this one, so we'll see what all goes. So yes, this is our second podcast tour actually. The first one we obviously never thought to, to vlog it or to take any video content, um, which we've done Wales when we went to see Stephen and all that. But with um, with me still working full time and Kate being so busy with the magazine, it seems to work better for us or at the moment to just go and book like five, six podcasts at a time. Yeah. One thing we're obviously very keen on doing is doing the podcasts in the Makers studio. And multiple reasons for that. One of them being the Makers just seem to be so much more comfortable in their studio. And the other is there's so many talking points around these people's studios. You know, we want to give you guys the, the best deep dive into who these people are and what these people do possible. And doing that in their studio just seems to, to work better. So yeah, yeah, hopefully enjoy our vlog. Please don't fear you have to finish them, but I'm just happy <laughs> <laughs> to taste and try. Um, and they have a thousand apple trees and every single tree is a different variety. Wow. And you know, I have a fairly good fruit knowledge and 90% of them I've never seen anywhere else before. That's true. Uh, yeah, and commercially, it's it's almost useless because how do you market these flavors, these fruits, this um, perception of you know how we are so so you know I hate these tasting notes of green apple, red apple yeah. because what people mean is Granny Smith red delicious. Yeah, where you pick up a fruit and you go, well, this has suddenly got the texture of polystyrene, or this one tastes like guava, or this tastes like pineapple. Um, so we take six to eight pickings uh, across the year, but the amazing thing is apples are quite often biannual, so they'll only fruit heavily every other year. Last year we saw half the orchard wiped out by frosts because we had 15 frosts below minus four, and it means that you can never achieve that same mix of apples again. They are, you know, and so Because all he's, he's, he's a really good photographer as well, okay. so all his um, all these pictures are quite mysterious, and you kind of you never show us this. So good. Yeah, it's a good email. So Jack. So Jack. So Jack. We never did one yesterday, did we? Well, no, we didn't. Uh, did we? No, I think no. we only got the car. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, day two. 
we've just, we're actually crap at this, we keep forgetting to pick up the camera. Um, we've just finished up with the Zoe Wilson Carvin, great podcast with her, which we'll be releasing in due course, in our fantastic wee workshop, which is on this like farm come wedding venue. Um, it's actually like gardens. Yeah, it's like a, an old, like walled gardens kind of thing. So yeah, that was good. Uh, Sat by the fire. Podcast, talk, t- talk to we. Talked everything. Everything. Stone and stone carving. And just picked up some food for the services. But we, ne- we never talked about Capitalist to Sterling yesterday, yeah? Because well, we never. Talk about that, yeah, we arrived at his uh, childhood home. He still stays there with his. Um, with his dad? Yeah. And that is also his distillery and his excite, excite, excite centre, excise centre, whatever the word is for that, whatever the appropriate word is for the place that you store and send alcohol from. Um, so that, that was really cool. Um, a lot of capitalist distilleries images, it's obviously it's very... It's, it's obviously very small in the images, but you don't realise how small it is. It is just a couple of sheds or garages spread out, which was really cool. It was really cool to see, and it was really cool to hear his story and some of the customers he's dealing with. I think, if anything, it really enforces the you don't need all the kit, you don't need the big fancy premises to do a really good job and just working hard and doing a really good job. Yeah, passion, Ultimately, hard work. Ultimately, that's what will get you the customers. Yeah. What are you doing, Jack? So, we've just fitted the UK sticker, which you need to drive in Europe. And I am now looking at the AEDA pack for getting your car ready. So, this is apparently something to stop you glazing over other drivers on the opposite side of the road. Because. We will be driving on the opposite side of the road. So. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> we have passed passport control and we are trying to find where we get the train. <laughs> we were trying to find it, you just follow the road. <laughs> Right, so that is, what's that Kate, that's passport control through, we're yeah. running a couple of hours late, yeah. so it'll be a bit of a hot foot to the um, to the hotel when we get to the other side, rest up, and then Maximus is very kindly offered to meet us tomorrow morning, first thing, and then we'll shoot over to his workshop, and yeah. start podcasting, eh? Yeah. And that's the, the two days of the UK leg done, and then Belgium, so yeah, wish us luck. This is exciting. We're on the Euro Tunnel, guys. We're on the Euro Tunnel now. That was exciting. Yes. My gosh, I look so tired. We're all squished. And it feels like I'm, I'm in space or something. What were you even going forward? A few moments later. And off we come. And we are in France. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes until we. And then we'll be in Belgium. Drive to Belgium. So oh. keep your eyes out, okay, Kate, for the E40. Right. Morning of day three. Quick. Uh, quick walk to stretch the legs before we sit down with Maximus will we go up that way? Yeah. <laughs> um, we seem to be quite close to the, the North Sea beachfront in Dehan so take a quick walk up there we stayed in the Ibis last night 
it's sometimes a bit of hit or miss when you book cheap hotels like that, but obviously everything being on a budget, that was the choice we had. And actually, it was, it was fantastic. Very pleasant. I had a great sleep. It was quiet, it was warm, it was clean. And it was easy to get to from the Euro Tunnel last night. Yeah, I think we'll do more of these European trips. Driving in Europe is an absolute doddle. The uh, we had a two hour delay on the Euro Tunnel, but do you know what? These things are expected at the minute, so yeah. I'm not that bothered. And to be honest, the, the driving etiquette so much on a better. two lane motorway is just fantastic. So we're going to have a walk around and explore, and we'll catch up with you later over at Max Mrs. Workshop. Bye! We have arrived. We have arrived. A Maximus workshop. Right, we can take it out. Woo! Jack. Content Queen. Podcast 10 done. Podcast 10, I Not of this trip. <laughs> so, quick pack up and then go to the next. How was that? Good? Feeling alive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this one is from in the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is from in the book. So, this one is an exposition here in the hotel. So, this is an opportunity to, to uh, have public seeing the pieces without giving percentage towards uh, mm -hmm. one. Yeah, sorry folks, it's close to the uh, off season. <laughs> yes. And this is a two bigger one. And this is what the little set is on the on the book. So these are already had a commission uh, uh, two more pieces but twice the size. Nice. So this gives the opportunity to have seen the texture but they want a bigger piece. Right. So did they see the smaller one first? And then Sometimes I would say the bigger one. Yeah. Because yeah. If, they like, if they like this texture, they, they can maybe don't have the space. They want just to buy two or three. Yeah. Or just one. So yeah. it gives an opportunity for prices also. Yeah, it was that successful car one. About imagination. Equal. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you wear it? Yeah. So imagination is more important than knowledge. <laughs>